In this example, we have another while loop that we're considering, and we've got something slightly different than what we've considered before. How we're updating our variable has been changed, so let's see how we can attack this. All the stuff inside of the while loop takes constant time. We're going to create some sort of iteration table to understand what happens to our loop variable. So we have a column for iteration and a column for our variable i. i starts at 1, and then we're continually multiplying by 2. So after one iteration, we have 2. After two iterations, we have 4. After three iterations, we have 2 to the 3, or I should write it as 8, I guess. After k iterations, I have 2 to the k. This is probably the easiest pattern for us to recognize is powers of 2. So this loop will stop when we have 2 to the k is equal to n. And again, if we we're being precise, we'd want that as greater than n, but that will never affect our results too much. So in order to solve for k, I need to take a log base 2 of both sides. So I have k equals log base 2 of n. t of n would be equal to, well, the inside takes a constant amount of time, and how many times do I run it? Well, I run it log base 2 of n times. So our runtime, t of n, is in theta of log of n. If you wanted to, you could make that log base 2 of n. It doesn't matter a whole lot here, though. 